Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back. I have gotten tons of requests to do this mod. So I'm gonna be covering it today. I'm gonna walk you guys through it and we'll walk you through everything you'll need. It's gonna be the LED turn signals for your mirrors. Pick these up on eBay. There's a couple modifications I've made to them, so let me show you. Okay, so one of the personal mods I made in here I found on a forum somewhere, I don't remember where, but the guy siliconed the whole inside of the mirror here. I've had these before on a 2010 FX50. If you don't do this, you're gonna experience wind, wind noise. It's pretty annoying and you will notice it. So that's just kind of what I've done here. Let me get you some looks at that. So you have to see, just kind of cover up all the inside there, keep that wind noise out. So that's what you're gonna wanna get. That taken care of first, let that dry, maybe wait a day and then uh, tackle this project. Now also, I'm gonna see if I can show you guys, but there's a few adjustments I had to make to the covers themselves by trimming them. There's in a couple areas here. This area down here on the inside of the mirror has been kind of snipped. And here on the back side, I've snipped on the inside. The reason I did these two spots on the back side is it just wasn't fitting properly. And I'm very OCD when things come <laughs> to fitting OEM spec. If this was an OEM part, I would have been much happier. All right, for starters, let's start with what you need. You need the mirror covers, which you'll pick up on eBay. Here's a link below. You're gonna need some wire conduit, set of zip ties, the terminal kit will be helpful. You're gonna want some male disconnects and T-taps, electrical tape, and don't forget to bring yourself a nice cup of coffee. And yeah, guys, let's run out to the garage, get this stuff installed, I'll walk you through it. We're gonna have to remove half of the front fender liner, so be prepared, get out your 10 mils. I'll see you guys there. Okay, so we have the option of removing the mud guard and getting to the inside, or we're gonna try removing this piece first that runs all along here. It's got a couple of these kind of rubber clips and this kind here that kind of like clip in like that so there's two pop clips in here one there and one up there I'm gonna pop those out to loosen this piece and then I'm not sure if it's entirely necessary to do that yet but I just I think it will be for here then we can remove this whole kind of intersection and hopefully peer into the back of the headlight right there Okay, y'all, that's perfect. You don't have to undo these two on the inside. You can just kind of fold it forward. And now we have access to the back here, which is perfect. So we can hopefully run our wires this way, the conduit, maybe zip tie it, and anyways, we're gonna run to the mirrors next. I'm gonna pop those bad boys off. If you don't know how to do that, it's very simple. Check out my video on how to do the mirror caps. I'll drop a link down below, but it's really easy to get these off. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is get the first cover. You'll see that it has these two black and red wires here. Get your first package of wires and these will clip into here on, the blacks, on this little black clip. And we're gonna probably rub this through first and then clip it in on this side. And I'll show you how we're gonna get all that through the door and into the engine bay. Next bit of fun here is pop out this center clip in here. There's a 10 millimeter there. We're gonna undo this. There's a 10 millimeter in here. Right there. And just so you guys know, I just want you all to see there's a third 10 millimeter bolt in here. Don't forget that one. So we're gonna undo those, then we'll be able to pull the door frame out and access this piece right here. All right, once you do that, the next bit of fun is just popping the door frame out. So there's a little rubber piece I wanna show you here. Down here. Just twist this off. 
flip and screw it. So you'll see it just sits like a little screw. Just kind of twist it on and off. We can focus on pulling this door off. I'll just use one of these pop clips and just start kind of at the bottom. Once you get this loosened, you can choose to leave it hanging or you can undo door latches and a couple clips here and a couple of <laughs> light clips down there, which I covered in another video. However, I'm just going to leave it hanging because the piece we want to get to is right there. So I'm just going to kind of pull that down and expose the mirror. Okay, the next bit of fun here is getting these 10 millimeters out. Now with those out, the mirror's loose, and that's perfect. Because now we can manipulate this wire in here and how we want to run our wires through. All right, y'all, flip the mirror over. Plot thickens here. Spot right here, you're just going to push that down. And now, we can see a lot more of what's going on down in here and hopefully get some more room. Okay, some of you all watching at home might want to look away now because we are going to drill a small hole right there. That way we have clear access coming in here to run the wires. So what you'll end up with is that which is perfect because we're going to run our wire through here and then through there and then through the door frame and then so on. I'm going to run it through here. And then from there, we're going to run it through the back side up here. So once you run it through there, you're going to have to run through here, except it's covered by tape. So what I'm going to probably do is just plug a little hole right here and then run the wire through there. That way it gets through the door frame. Okay, so just like that. And then pull it through. And now we're just going to run it finally through here. And it is officially inside the door frame. So you'll see now it's running into the door. And what we could probably do from here is kind of route it this way and then just it'll come stick out through here we'll use some conduit in between there possibly and I see a nice spot we can go through right in there and we'll hit the engine bay okay the next bit of fun I'm gonna run this wire right through here near that green clip and kind of just gently gently get this in place. That way, when we look on this side, we have our wires right here, which we can now connect these two pieces together. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and leave everything kind of pre-mocked up and just make sure that stuff's going to work. I did run the wire, like I said, through that little opening down here and brought it all the way to here. The next thing you're going to want to do is come down in here and I've already kind of pulled mine out, but pull out your turn signal bulb and you'll see that it also has a red and black wire. So we are going to T-tap into that. However, for whatever reason, this LED kit came with a fuse. Like there's a fuse in here and I'm not sure if we need to use it. So what I'm going to do is kind of just probably tap this stuff together, keep the fuse in line, and then hope for the best. We're going to go just red to black, black to red, and hopefully that's all it needs, guys. So that's how we're running it. Just two T-taps straight into there. 
I tried it with the fuse and just could not get them to work for whatever reason. Tried even retapping this thing twice and it still didn't work. So I don't know if the fuse was bad. I took a look at it. Let's see if you pop this open. These looks good. I don't know why it wasn't working, but we're not going to use them. So it's working just fine with that T-tap and I'll show you here in a moment. So there we go. It's up and running. And these are the eBay ones. There's a guy on the forum on Facebook. His name is Merrick Wallace. He makes a better quality version of these that's brighter from the front. Because from the front, as you can see, they're not too bright during the day. At night, I'm sure that's not an issue, but during the day that can be. But they're actually kind of directional. So I don't think these ones are meant to be bright from the front. They're really bright from the side. So I mean, if that's a deal breaker for you, pick the ones up from Merrick, which hopefully I get to try his sometime soon. So that's it guys, that's the install. I'm gonna go ahead and run the other side. But that's it, that's all you gotta do is plug it all in. So give me just a second, I'm gonna do the other side, I'll report back. So this is what I've done with the conduit. I just ran it through there, ran it back. I'm gonna finish up in this and just kind of like tape it all together and then be sure I get a nice uh, tape around the bottom there where where the T-taps are, just kind of keep it watertight. So I'm gonna go ahead and run some tape on that, I'll report back. So there it is, super clean job, looks OEM. That's what we wanted. So I'm gonna bundle this side back up and finish the passenger side. Okay guys, just finishing up the conduit on this side. I wanna show you, this is how I'm running it through here. I popped off this little rubber deal on this side. So you can see it's gonna come through there and right there, it's perfect. So I'm gonna do that to the other side and we'll get a final look at everything. Yeah, so there she is, looks clean. Pretty happy with it. Matches a lot more. Carbon fiber is cool. I just kind of always wanted to get the LED to kind of just give it a little more class and style. I'm gonna give you guys a quick walk around with the lights on. Thank you so much for joining me today, YouTube. It was a pleasure. It was awesome getting that stuff installed and I'm gonna put the tutorial up for you guys. This is not super complicated project. It took me about probably close to four hours with filming. So just give yourself some time, be patient. Some of you all are gonna be better at wiring than I am. So I'm just giving you the layout. That's how you do it and best of luck. Guys, like always, please subscribe comment down below, hit the bell notification, and I'll have more content coming at you next week. Have a great week. Catch you soon.